back friends welcome to another video from Shomu's biology and in this video we are talking about plant cell wall the structure of plant cell wall and the function plant cell wall provides now we have been talking about a lot of different cellular organelles uh, since couple of videos you can watch all of the videos regarding each and every different cell organelles in eukaryotic system now here we are now focusing mostly on plant cells in plant cells, cell wall is a very interesting and important structure that provides structural rigidity and support to the plants, right? And the cell wall is found in, in, in among eukaryotes. The cell wall is only found in plants. In some cases, uh, it is found in some algae and stuff. But in prokaryotes, you can also find cell wall to be present. In bacteria, we can have cell walls to be present in some aspect. But mostly the cell wall in eukaryotes are the prime feature of plant cell and you know uh, all of these things like cell wall cell membrane they pr are produced using some macro molecules the important molecules like lipids carbohydrates proteins and stuff now the major part of the cell wall for plants are made up with carbohydrates that are polysaccharides where small carbohydrate units are arranged one by another like so most of the part of this are made with polysaccharide units of carbohydrate units example cellulose hemicellulose pectin and so on so so many different things that we find in these cases now now let's talk about the structure of plant cell wall now for the structure of plant cell wall it is very difficult uh, different compared with the cell membrane you know plant cells also contain cell membrane because cell membrane should be present in all living cells either it's a plant cell or animal cell or it is a bacteria whatever whatever type of organism we choose cell membrane should be present to make a cell what it is so this blue line that we draw is a cell membrane which is a the inner unit and in case of animal cells membrane is the outermost layer there, there is nothing else but in plants we have another thick layer surrounding the cell membrane that is known as the cell wall so this is what we are talking about the cell wall why wall because it is very rigid like wall as you create the wall with a concrete or brick whatever it is it's very very solid and rigid now if we look at here the arrangement of cells in, in plants are a little bit different than the arrangement of cells in animals Maybe it, what happens in animal is that the cells are present one by another they are they are attached to one by another in clusters right because you know cells organize themselves together to make tissue right so multiple cells will be placed one after another as a layer uh, of tissue we call it the tissue layer so let's say there is a basement right on the basement there are multiple cells attached like that for example all the cells have nucleus so this is the basement basement layer where the where the cells are in place uh, or placed properly and not only that but they have other structural units like proteins called as actin or intermediate filaments they will hold uh, and stitch these cells together so that they have a unified structure together this is the structure for animal tissue but for a plant tissue it's quite different in a plant cell as they have as they have cell wall as you see here as they have cell wall adjacent cells are kind of linked with each other due to this structure just like a like comb like structure you see uh, so in all these things like a cell will be here and a cell in this side a cell so this cell if we take and we draw all the other cells in the surroundings what you will see is that it is surrounded by so many neighboring cells and all of them are arranged like like this like hexagram structure like like hexagon structure as you see in this all these cases like a hexagon and they are linked one by another so all the cells are linked so there will be another cell if I draw it completely if I draw it let's say if I extend this drawing we'll get another right see another cell so by this fashion, we'll get multiple cells surrounding and interacting with themselves. This is a unique structure for plant cell. But if you look at the cell wall, you know, that is why we, why, why I'm telling you this. Because the cell wall we are seeing or observing, it is quite common for two cells on adjacent cells, as you see. Now you see distinguishable cell membranes for each of the cells. Let's say this is a cell membrane for this one. This is distinguishable, unique for each of the cells. But cell walls are quite common. That means the cell wall, the partition is present between two cells. It's nothing like that. There is a one partition, then another partition from another cell. It's quite dumb to do that. It will, it will lose some area. So to do that, they want, what they do, if you need to create a partition, we only put one wall, like right? that's enough. 
that is the same thing the wall is created here like that that is why the structure is little varied so there is a wall separating two cells and only one wall there so you cannot tell this this wall component is for this cell or that cell actually it is for both of them for protection for both of them because they are working as a unit here all of them together now what we see here if you look at the structure now if you see at this area only what you will find cell membrane for this cell 1 let's say let me write this is a cell 1 this is cell 2 cell 1 and cell 2 both the cell membranes are separated two separate cell membranes remember but the cell wall is common one now in this cell wall i draw a red line this red line is known as middle lamella okay it is known as middle lamella so this middle lamella is a portion that separates kind of two walls actually there is one wall but middle lamella is a dis distinction that this, that is the end that is the that is the boundary or border and then we have two separate units for two different cells that is the idea then this middle lamella and then if i draw the structure in much more details it will become much more clear so let me let me draw the structure here okay so the idea is here we have the middle lamella in the middle here middle lamella okay and now surrounding that middle lamella we have other structures like primary cell wall let me draw the primary cell wall with this blue color this is let's say the primary cell wall another primary cell wall okay so let's say this is cell number two this is cell number one so this primary cell wall, this one is for C1, this one is for C2. Middle lamella is separating them from each other. And this primary cell wall components are made with cellulose. They are made with cellulose. Okay. And this cellulose are also, so cellulose are different units. So different structural units. And those cellulose are then interlinked by hemicellulose which is another type of polysaccharide okay so they are interlinked within themselves like that and then we also need some other connective structural units and those are also carbohydrates for example this green this green thing that i'm drawing which is inter or engaging interaction with the lamellae and primary cell wall this is known as pectin I don't think you can see let me write it here pectin pectin is a kind of heteropolysaccharide that means it's again a type of polymer of carbohydrates but multiple types of carbohydrates that's why it's known as heteropolymer or heteropolysaccharide so pectins are linking primary cell wall components to the middle lamella okay to hold them tight together this is the integral unit of cell wall for a plant now in case of plants we can see several rounds of cell wall components for example it can also contain some components related to secondary cell wall and those are drawn with this black thing so this is the secondary cell wall for example the black area secondary cell wall secondary cell wall let me write them uh, it will be easy to write from this side secondary cell wall so we have two we have a primary cell wall this is a primary made up with cellulose hemicellulose secondary cell wall is again another constituent of the part okay now there could be multiple layers of secondary cell wall which provides the exact structural support depending upon the type of tree we are talking about okay like large trees like pine and all this type of hard wood like trees there are multiple rounds of secondary cell wall components present and there could be at least three different layers in those those cases like like an outer layer of secondary wall middle layer of secondary wall and an inner layer of secondary wall so so outer layer will be present somewhere here outer layer middle layer and inner layer and right after the inner layer we have the cell membrane cell membrane Just now try to look at this image, compare, let's say this is the area, we zoom into this area, 
what we find a lamella connecting with the primary walls from both the sides so the primary walls will be present somewhere here and here these are the primary walls interacting with the lamella with the pectin as an attachment uh, polysaccharide here and then we have the secondary walls in two sides and finally we have the membranes and that's how we have the structure of the plant cell and you know plant cells are mostly com com composed with large vacuoles let's see in this plant cell mostly most of the part will, will contain the vacuole let's say a small part will contain the nucleus and rest of the part will contain the vacuole let's say this this whole area is vacuole so cytosol is surrounding area and there will be a nucleus that is the structure of plant cells and they are connected like this so what i am trying to say here is the way plant cells interact with each other and the way animal cells interact with each other are different and why they are different because they need this difference the structure of plant is to have a very rigidity and support because plant cannot move it will be anchored so it needs structural support because there will be a lot of environmental factors that will try to drag them out but they need to keep anchored to the soil that's why they need this rigidity and structural shape out there so that in a sense is a plant cell wall the function as i told you is the rigidity and also the the structure will be you know it's, it's it also help the cells to grow right because this is the ultimate wall constituents that will help the cell to grow and also it provides a structure as well as the cell walls of plant contains interbridge between the nearby cells because remember in animal cell the cell signaling process that means the interplay or crosstalk between different cells are quite easy because we have a blood circulation system which can act like a like a travel system between the cell in, in a city so wherever you have to go in our body a cell can move and use the transport system which is blood uh, to reach but in case of plants these things are not present so the only way plant cells can communicate is between the channels that are created inside the cell and the channels that that are found inside the cell are known as plasmodesmata for example here i draw a small part this is some section of this two they create a specific structure a bridge through which the cytosolic components from one cell can move to the next cell that is known as the plasmodesmata okay this is this is known as the plasmodesmata so we'll talk about plasmodesmata in details in our next video but for now you i think you know what is plant cell wall and the structural components and constituents so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that thank you